Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro Custom ROM reviews. In this video, I am going to explain about the Pixis OS. You can see this is the latest version, and the Pixis OS is back with some of the smartphones. And you can see the version is 6.3.4 is the version, it's a G apps variant. You, have, you also have the vanilla build, and Android version is 13. You can see here and security badge is september 1st 2023 is the latest security badge available kernel version user is 4.14.31 to hyper version 1.3 is the kernel used in this particular rom build date you can see september 26th it's a latest build available for redmi note 7 pro this is a quick settings panel you get plenty of options here if you want to add them you can just drag and add them and you get a active status here and you can directly move into settings and power button from here and there is the option of brightness both automatic and manual slider is available if you want you can change them manually this is the typical home screen you get as you can see and if you want widgets press and hold here you can add the widgets from here all Android 13 features are available uh, by the way Android 14 videos are coming to my channel stay tuned for those things very soon we are going to see Android 14 base ROMs for Redmi Note 7 Pro 2 hence subscribe to my channel and if you first time to this channel let us subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and starting with the camera you get a ANX camera proper ANX camera here I mean the MIUI camera not a Leica build or anything like the proper ANX camera has been given here in the photo mode you get all these kind of options you also get a 48 megapixel mode all are working fine and dialer you get a google dialer here you can directly make video call from here also call recording is there but it will announce the other person that you are recording a call let's see some of the benchmark results yeah before that let's see the safety status yes it will get passed uh, yeah you can see it get passed both the cts and basic integrity you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay all are going to work fine drm information again it's a level one certified such that you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and to the benchmark results are you can see also the app opening time has been improved a little bit and three lakh thirty seven thousand nine hundred and eighty four is the score here yeah temperature raise was 2.1 degrees celsius and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of anti to benchmark result in this pixis os latest version for redmi note Sambro, which is really really good in my opinion uh, we have seen with android uh, 12 after that this is the version i am seeing it it's really good it has improved a lot more and UI was it's very very smooth here before that let me show these uh, results and you guys can see here single score is 674 and multi score is 1706 this is geekbench 6 results Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro Linux 4.14.312 hyper version 1.3 is a kernel use and Android 13 which are very good scores healthy scores available for this smartphone and I have also done 100 thread test of CPU throttling test you can see it's really really good in my opinion you can see maximum is 169 average is 161 and minimum is 150 and it's total to 93 percent of its max performance which is very very good i haven't faced any warmness here and there while playing games also which is quite interesting in this particular rom it's back with a bang that's how it is really really good the rom is let's move into settings you get here this kind of settings panel which is also smooth enough to scroll between them apps again you get similar uh, options here notifications again you get similar options battery in the battery usage you can see this is the latest version of battery graph you get a idea here how much time it took it will support up to 18 watt charging but recommended is 10 watts only the battery life going to be a good in this particular room and pixel battery usage if you want to disable that you can do that battery saver is given extreme battery saver is given really good battery widget if you want you can add them from here storage again theming 
customize the look and feel you can choose the color source theme style you can choose from here luminance chroma dark theme once you enable that you get and if you want a pitch black condition then enable this even in dark theme which is really good sound and vibration again you get a mean sound enhancer direct sound settings has been given choose the headphone type and preset from here clear speaker and other things related to sound and vibration are given you can see vibration and haptic patterns are given here you can choose the uh, ringtone and other settings from here and wallpaper sound style you get this kind of wallpapers pre-installed i mean the google type this is the pixies voice you will get those options lock screen customizations are also given allow sound display you can schedule end and start time from here and display settings is quite similar here display size and text i kept bold text to visualize the text on this particular rom icon pack again you get some of them pre-install night light is given you can adjust the density tap to wake is given tap to sleep is not given here accessibility menu which is a handy feature is yeah where is the option no shortcuts okay that's how it is accessibility is working fine location and security features you get a face unlock and fingerprint unlock other things you can see on the scheme nothing more customization available here fingerprint unlock as you can see just tap it it will get unlocked it's not the fastest but still it's quite fast enough i mean better than the previous versions of pixie OS. and let's see the face unlock yeah it takes some time to unlock it let me try again yeah it's how it is the face unlock is working fine but you need to register multiple times in order to unlock very quickly this is how the ui and benchmark results and settings and fingerprint unlock and these things charging speeds are good battery life is also very good performance let's check in the games but day-to-day -day usage it's fine let's see what all the graphic settings we get in this particular rom wow what a surprise guys in this particular rom just head towards graphics and settings yeah wait a second and this is how the volume panel and you can scroll here and there is even a gaming mode you can enable if face from here i'll do one thing yeah i'll keep this side yeah now into graphic settings you guys can see it's up to 90 fps available but however this uh, smartphone supports only 60 fps screen i mean the 60 fps the standard uh refresh it here nothing a high refresh but i am really surprised with the gameplay i will show you with a sample let's i am following someone yeah let's jump here and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit the subscribe button guys and if you like the video give it a like there are a lot more videos coming very soon to our channel related to android 14 and all if you are still using redmi note 7 pro subscribe to my channel you will get a lot more videos and also comment down below if you are using this particular rom what all the problems you are facing as of now i haven't faced any of the bugs or problems anything like that it's quite smooth here the rom is you can see the gaming experience is also very very good you can see the game has been improved a lot with the update even that too matters and even the internet connection also matters in order to uh, get very good output of your gameplay you need to check these things then only your gameplay will be fine but anyhow this is a snapdragon 675 powered smartphone it's been old now we have all new powered chipsets but still it's capable to handle this kind of games here you can see under 60 fps it is handling fine and if you have any specific questions regarding this rom ask me i mean comment down in the comment section below and also there is a dedicated there is a dedicated uh, whatsapp group of redmi note 7 pro you guys can follow me there i mean follow the group you can ask your queries and solve by yourself or the other friends in the group if you still not solid 
you can ask me and there is a channel regarding me latest channel i mean in the whatsapp you can follow that too instagram twitter everywhere i am available you can follow there too and you guys can see how smooth the gameplay is let's come out from this this are the pixies os guys which is very very good smooth and responsive anyway it's came late but uh, i haven't faced any heating issues just see here you get a little bit warm if you continuously play in 60 fps for long sessions then it's fine in my opinion not a overheating or anything like that after long this rom has been gave uh, updates to redmi note sample but it's really good the weight is worthy you can definitely try this rom if you are a uh, easy user i mean simple ui if you like that kind of user interface then you can uh, flash this rom flashing method is also very simple use the latest firmware of uh, redmi note 7 pro and flash the rom and format the data and reboot to system i have made a dedicated video you can check out in the shorts i will also give the uh, link in the description how to flash the rom on redmi note 7 pro which is really good this rom is you can definitely try it out as a daily driver we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keeps smiling bye bye for now